Hi guys, I've got two planted tropical freshwater aquariums. This first one you can see now is 160 litre. The second one is 90 litre. They're planted in quite similar ways. They've both got kabamba, java fern to some extent, a little bit of a load here, a little bit of java moss, marimo moss balls and some dwarf swords. And they've both got a sand substrate, they've both got numerous rocks that were sold as inert, so I hope they are, and quite a lot of bogwood. Um, plant growth has been okay, but algae growth has not been okay. I've had a little bit of algae, not a massive problem, nothing that I couldn't cope with and eliminate with a cleanup crew. But what I'm interested in is the effect of liquid carbon on plant growth and also on limiting algae growth. The product that I'm using is Easy Carb, made by Easy Life, and it cost me £8.60 for 500 millilitres. You can see there the instructions on the back of the bottle. I'm not going to play this for long, I'm sure you can pause it if you want to read the instructions more thoroughly. I'm going to be following the instructions and I'm going to be following a dosage of 1 millilitre per 50 litres per day. So I've got a 90 litre, 106 litre, that's 250 litres combined water volume. So if my maths is correct, I'm going to be using 5 millilitres a day. 500 millilitre bottle, 5 millilitres per day. So I'm going to get 100 days use out of this for £8.60. What I'm intending to do is photograph each tank every couple of days. And then make version 2 of this video where I will put those still images together in a sequence and hopefully we'll be able to see what plant growth there's been. I've used um, a DIY yeast sugar CO2 kit in the past and with some success it definitely does help. Never used liquid carbon before. I'm expecting good things. We'll see. So check back with me in about two or three weeks time. I will have re-edited this video be able to watch version 2. The beginning will be the same, but at the end of it we will see a sequence of still images and we'll be able to see just how well the plants have grown, whether or not I've had any algae problems, whether the fish and shrimp are happy. Just a few more facts. The water in both aquariums is, is almost identical in every way. The temperature in each aquarium is 79 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got no problems with ammonia or with nitrite. I do 25% water changes once a week. I feed the fish um, sparingly. I definitely don't overfeed. I'm just using flake food. So that's, that's it for now, guys. Please come back soon. Hopefully I'll have a, an interesting video for you to watch.